Hi, welcome back to Helen Ponton's video blog regarding social security disability cases. I'm Natalia Joffrey, the social security disability section um, director. Say that five times fast. <laughs> and I'm Shelly Mark, the senior social security attorney. So we're talking about these disability cases, age 55. Some of this information, by the way, applies to all age ranges. Okay, so you could be a younger individual under age 50. You could be between ages 50 and 54, which is um, approaching advanced age or you could be um, over age 55, which is considered an advanced age by Social Security. We're focusing on over 55 because it's it's a lot easier to win benefits um, when you're over age 55. Um, rule of thumb with Social Security is the older you are, the easier it is to qualify for benefits up until your full retirement age. And then at that point, you're getting pretty much all of your benefit through, through retirement. But the last video blog, we mentioned medications. Mm -hmm. They're a huge factor when Social Security is evaluating your disability claim. Um, and the reason for that is not just the maybe the fact that you have to take the medication, but the side effects that you have as a result of it and how those side effects can affect you when you're trying to work. We talked a lot about work history and, you know, the demands of working. So, Shelly, what do you see um, when Social Security is evaluating these cases, how medications come into play? You know, medications come into play in every single case nearly um, because of the side effects. Um, you know, I rarely have a client say to me, I don't have any side effects from any of my medications. <laughs> you know, normally there are side effects of medications. Um, and I would say that more than likely um, the most severe mm -hmm. would be fatigue. Okay. And drowsiness, mm -hmm. um, most definitely difficulty with concentration, Okay. Um, difficulty with memory. Mm -hmm. um, a, a lot of people that take sleep medication mm. will tell me that it takes them forever to wake up. Right. And, the, and then their mornings are really difficult because of the medication being so strong that helps them sleep. But then coming off of it in the mornings is really, really hard to get going. And think about that. If you have to get up early to go to work every day and you're knocked out from this medication, then every single morning you're going to really struggle to get up, get ready, you know, and get to work. Right. Um, and which employer is going to really work with you realistically um, long term where you can come in every late every day. Mm -hmm. um, and like. Shelly said, with the with the fatigue, with the drowsiness, this is a big one. Um, and we go back to, you know, our nursing example. Right. Um, you know, if you're drowsy and you have to be alert and awake to treat patients and to take notes and to remember, you know, how much medication the doctor just said to administer to the patient, things like that. If you're feeling a little bit loopy um, or not, you know, completely mm -hmm. awake, it's it's hard to do all of those things. And another one that I used to see a lot was the nausea. And that's true, too. Definitely. Now, if you're mm -hmm. feeling like sick to your stomach and right. it's like you have to sit still because if not, you get nauseous or you get dizzy. All of those factors come into play when they're looking at, OK, can you do this job? Right. Because the, their go to is they love to say, well, we'll find a sedentary job you right. can do. First of all, there's a, num a limited number of sedentary jobs. Um, but also then if you're having these problems despite being seated and working, right. there's still going to be a problem, yeah. right? They're still going to prevent you. Definitely. And I have clients say to me a lot of times, you know, I was taking the medication, I was doing a little bit better, but then the side of the effects, the side effects of the medications um, started making things really difficult and I was trying to hide it, but my coworkers would ask me why I was nodding off and they would notice that I was slowing down and, you know, even despite your best efforts to to work through the side effects of medications, it may be something that someone else points out to you by saying, hey, you know, you're starting to make some mistakes. You know, you're not quite on on point like you used to be. You know, yeah. I love the example you gave of the construction worker. And that makes me think about that. You know, if you're a construction worker and you say to your crew, hey, guys, I need to take a little minute here. You know, right. I'm feeling sick to my stomach. I'm a little tired. Let me go to my truck, take a nap and come back. Like who's really going to put up with that? Right. right. Yeah. yeah, definitely. All right. Well, if you have any questions, um, feel free to visit our website or call our office. But Thank you.